Well, hello, YouTubers. How you guys doing? Today, I'm up here at Cars and Trucks Direct in Bernie, Texas. I'd like to give a big thanks and shout out for allowing me to make this in-depth review. Links to their website as well as contact information can be found in the description box below. Now before I start off the video, I would like to point out that I am right next to the highway, so I'll try and film some of the sound clips if, when the noise dies down. But anyway, today I'm here to bring you this beautiful 2013 Chevrolet Silverado 3500 Duramax. This is going to be a complete and in-depth review of the Silverado. We'll start the engine, show it off, go over some of the performance specifications, and we'll show you a bunch of the unique and interesting aspects on the overall interior as well as the exterior. Starting off with the exterior, it does have a really nice silver exterior. It does have a custom ranch hand front bumper painted in silver to match the exterior of the truck. It's got its original 17-inch wheels. And by the way, this is a dually model. You have custom chrome towing mirrors. You have chrome window guards there. And this one is the LTZ, so it does come fully loaded. It does have Raptor running boards on the side. Custom gas cap. And it is four-wheel drive. does have a towing package. The tailgate is lockable. Going unlock that real quick. It does have a spray in bed liner. Trailer hook up right here. It does have a turnover gooseneck hitch right there. And lock that back up. Original exhaust. Right here it has custom mud mud guards right there. This truck looks really nice. Before I go on the interior of this truck, I would like to point out that it does have remote start. How it works is simply lock it, hold down the top button. Simple as that. And to turn it off, just hit the button again. And now we'll go ahead and go on the interior. Inside it does have an ebony leather interior. You have all your power options right here. Your power windows, power door locks, window locks, and power mirrors. So let's go ahead and jump inside here. It's a very nice looking truck. One thing I would like to point out on the interior, this truck is an LTZ package. Normally the, the silver trimming that you see right here is supposed to be wood grain trim, but the original, own, I mean the first owner deleted that and put the silver trimming to go along with the exterior of the truck. So now we'll go ahead and start the engine here. I'm going to turn that off. Let's see if I can show you the radio screen. Very nice. I'm going to try and get rid of that. It has 16,000 miles on its odometer. Very nice amount of mileage. Pretty low, I might add. So, now we'll go ahead and start the engine here. Very nice. Has a full leather wrapped steering wheel. Very nice and smooth power assisted steering. Does have a little bit of resistance, but that's typical for a heavy duty truck. Has a six speed Allison automatic transmission with low gear selection and manual shiftability by the plus and minus on the side of the shifter. As well as a tow haul mode that raises the transmission shift points for better performance when towing. Putting the vehicle in reverse, 
does have an integrated backup camera up in the navigation screen. The camera is mounted in the tailgate for some extra convenience. So now I'll go ahead and turn on the lights. It does have automatic lights, fog lights, and the hazards. Both the front windows are fully automatic. All right, now we'll go ahead and check out the exterior. Fog lights are mounted behind the brush guard right here. These mirrors do manually extend. Just pull them right on out. They also do have turn signal markers. And see if I can't give you a little bit of exhaust clip. It's gonna be kind of hard to do since the highway noise is all crazy. But it has a very nice sound to it too. All right, now we're good. Jump back in. Shut off the headlights and hazards. But now I'm gonna pop the hood. And show the engine. business end of this Silverado, we find here it's LML 6.6 .6 liter Duramax turbo diesel V8, producing 397 horsepower and a whopping 765 pound-feet of torque. Maximum towing specifications for these trucks are right around 13,500 pounds. I'm not too exactly sure how much it can pull specifically. But as far as fuel economy for these trucks, heavy duty trucks, I would like to point out, are not required to meet the EPA, so they do not list their fuel economy ratings, but I've seen these trucks get roughly 14 city, 17 highway on ultra low sulfur diesel fuel, which is pretty decent for a one ton pickup. But that's just my experience of fuel economy. That's what I think. I'm not sure what the real numbers are. So, now we'll go ahead and shut the hood here. Now we're we'll going to jump in. Now we're we'll going to see how it sounds. Hopefully you can hear this. Definitely hear a little bit of that turbo whistle. It has a very nice sounding engine. Parking brakes located right over here. Simply press to set. The indicator will show right up here in the dash. Then push it, push it again to release. So now we're going to shut the door. Roll up the window. Now we're going to get the AC going. It's crazy hot today. So, now we'll go ahead and check the sound system. It does have a Bose sound system. I'm going to turn that off right now for copyright purposes. Well, then again, let's go ahead and leave it on. Right here, obviously, is your navigation. It does show your map right here. Radio information right there. Destination. Menu right here. You have all your radio settings right here. Tone. And it shows all your equalizer settings right there. Navigation settings, your display, your rear camera options right here, and your time right there. 
Right down here is all your preset stations right here. Does have XM satellite radio. CD player up above. Center console storage right here. Two power points down below. Two cup holders right here. Nice big center console storage. We do have an electronic climate control down here. Fan speed right here. Different zones. It does have dual climate control so the driver and passenger can have their own temperatures. Front defrost, recycler, rear defrost, turn off your AC, automatic. Pretty simple. Right up here is your home link for your garage door opener. Reading lamps up above. Does have a sunroof. I'm going to go ahead and operate that. Soak in the Texas sun. Visors with your vanity mirrors. You do have an auto dimming rear view mirror with OnStar. Right up here is controls for your heads up display. Your trip computer, fuel range, average miles per gallon, fuel use, speedometer reading, clock, range temp. And right here is your trailer gain output, engine hours. Oil life, fuel filter life, exhaust fluid, units in English or metric. Pretty simple system. Glove box right here. Storage pockets on the side of the doors. Multifunction control steering wheel right here. Right here is your radio controls, your volume behind, telephone controls right here, and your cruise control right up here. Very nice feature that they did. They now put the turn signal, excuse me, cruise control on the steering wheel instead of being on the turn signal stock like the older Chevys. Your four wheel drive controls are right here. Original trailer brake controller down below. Wiper controls on the turn signal. You do have heated seats right here, as well as ventilated seats, which is a must to have on this truck. Memory seats controlled right here. Does have power sliding, tilting driver seat, power recline, lumbar support right here. We're gonna jump back here, show you in the back you do have a decent amount of room back here I'm about 6'5 but you gotta fit back here pretty nice power point down below cup holders your connectivity for your DVD player right up above it is by Panasonic Reading lamps up above. Cup holders right here. You do have your remote for the DVD player right here. Storage pockets on the back of the door. Bottom of the seat do fold up for extra cargo space. Overall, this is just a really nice looking truck. I'm going to shut it down here.
Well guys, I hope you all enjoyed this in-depth review of the 2013 Chevrolet Silverado 3500 Duramax. Please like, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.